the he, names that came in, man. Fuck me. Mm. So who was the first signing? You know, when you, you went up that year. First signing that you thought, do you know what? The, 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 the well, it was the year before. It was, it was when we were getting promoted that season. I mean, he signed Tim Sherwood from Norwich. And uh, he came in. Was that a big statement in yeah in the yeah, championship? Well, definitely. Do you know when all the like when all these players start coming in? Are you thinking, oh fuck, there's a good chance I could be out of team and out of club here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, my train of thought was, I had to be hundred percent every single day. Do you know what I mean? You know, you know yourself. In training, some days you can go and toss it off, can't you? And just do this and do that. Just but do the, enough. Yeah, but the, the amount of players that were coming in that could play my position, I had to do something special to make sure yeah. I stayed in that team. Kept mm. you on your toes. Who was, who was in midfield then when you went up that first year in the Prem? When we got the first season of the Premier League, it was myself mm. and Tim Sherwood. And it, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it was always, the first season they didn't buy that many. I mean, obviously Shearer came in, Graham Lasol came in from Chelsea, played left back. Uh, and I think it's in St. Henningberg. We had a funny thing that in the change room on a Thursday, we all used to get in early on a Thursday because we knew there'd be a signing coming in. So if, if it was a signing for the squad or the signing for the first team or whatever, there's obviously always someone. So you'd be sit there on a Thursday at like 10 o'clock like that. Wait, like right, who's coming in? Is it, is it, is it, is it someone from my place? Is it someone from, so you'd come in and it'd be a centre half. You'd go, hey, you be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but it was it was tough you know what I mean but it kept you on your toes you know we had to play your maximum all the time well, I felt I felt the only way for me to keep in this team was to play at full belt mm. and to train at full belt as much as I could that must have made you a better player yeah and, and and playing with, you know it, it was a massive difference playing with better players as well I mean as soon as Shearer come it just changed everything he was, he was just unbelievable, unbelievable could you tell straight away no no. Oh. no. Well, he came middle of pre-season. I don't think he'd done much at Southampton because he was supposed to go to Man U when he first and then Liverpool came in for him as well, I think. And then obviously Kenny got him to come come to Blackburn. But we went to play Hibs in one of the first game, days he was here up in Scotland and uh, he, he played the first four I mean, he was awful. And we were, we were looking at each other thinking, what the hell have we done here? <laughs> just, just, like, is, the, is the ink dry? Yeah. 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 Get yourself back. Get fucking speedy back. Go on, son. How much? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's a shout. British record much. fee as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was massive. Three, three and a half million, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was massive. But then, I mean, he was the worst trainer if you're doing physical work. So if, if we, we had, a, Kenny had brought a, a fitness guy in. And so we make so we we had probably two days a week where we were doing weights, and one day if we didn't have a midweek game where he'd take us for fitness sessions. She was also at the back. The keepers loved it because it's the first time the keepers have ever beat anybody, and he, <laughs> so he, he was round, he couldn't get his head round. He could do it, but he couldn't get his head round running. You know, so he's the worst. But then as soon as you put a ball at his feet, that was it. Yeah, yeah, totally different. Unbelievable, finishing. unbelievable finishing. You know, absolutely different, different class to anything I'd ever seen. You know, he could smack a ball anywhere. And he was quick. When he first came, he was quick until he had his uh, crucial injury. And that, then he had to change his game. Yeah. I said this to Steve Howey, uh, how hard it must have been playing against him, like the back end of his career when he used to hold her up yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But imagine playing against him when he was rapid. Yeah. Well, he had everything. The first, remember, the first game of the season was Crystal Palace away. Uh, he scored two from outside the box. He killed one in from about 30 yards and smash another one from like 25 yards straight in the top corner both of them and now we're thinking we've got a player here Yeah, mm. we know we've got a chance <laughs> did he ever say why he didn't sign for Man U or, or Liverpool I think one of the things is that Kenny was his hero and I think that was why and maybe the 10 grand a week might have helped as well <laughs> 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 when I'm sat there with a grand <laughs> I've, asked, I've asked that as well Did do you know like the lads who would have been there in the champ well the the division one. Did you end up getting rewarded with your contracts and stuff when the well, new lads started coming back coming in? Well, my contract was up at the end of when we got promoted. The uh, timing. Yeah. So I got a I got a new contract and uh I got a, I think I got a three year, I think then. Yeah, it would have been I got a three year contract and the and I I was still on probably about five, six hundred quid before then. And I, and it went to like uh twelve hundred quid, something like that. Were you happy with that? Yeah, at the time, because we, uh, that was before he's coming in. He's, and he's coming in at 10 grand. I'm thinking, I'm not fucking happy now. That's what I was going to say. 
<laughs> it's been a good time, mate. Jack, 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 is there yeah. a chance to get another chat, Jack? Are you having a word? Straight to Stratford, my agent. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did that? Did did that piss lads off though? No, no, because he was that good. He deserved it yeah. for what he did for Blackburn Rovers and our, them, them, especially the first three seasons. He, he was unbelievable. You know, but he can't do it without York, can he? No, That's no, the well, there is that, but. You know, you've got to look at what what he come and do. I mean, you know, he got to a stage that later on, and especially the champion when we won the championship, I was earning more on a win bonus than I was my weekly wage. So if two win bonuses in a week when we were winning that many games, I was tripling my wages. Whereas to him, it, don't, it didn't really matter, would it? Yeah. You was know that in mean? comparison with other teams? Like, did, did Jack Walker know, give a, a, Was it a good win bonus? Like, oh yeah. Well, when, when we got in the Premier League, the I, I was like club captain since I'd been there. Ian Miller was it. And then I took over from him when he left, which we had a team captain, which was Nicky Reid at first, and Tim Sherwood took over that. And we had a club captain who sorts all you, where you go in places, you know what I mean, to the hospitals and you present. A bit of a jo- the joy one, one, really, isn't shitty it? shitty one, yeah. <laughs> so I took it on thinking. I can't do it. Well, okay. I took it on thinking, yeah, I'm going to be captain. I'll have yeah. And then Nicky, Nicky Reid's still been captain in 80. I'm thinking, what's going on here? <laughs> We turn up to hospitals, yeah. do it brilliantly. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Next next one comes in there. There's 14 schools to be seen here in, in <laughs> that next two weeks. Can you get people to go? I ended up with myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, yeah. <laughs> but the only good thing about that is that I got the match day tickets. So they give you a bunch of tickets for players, and uh, it was like you know you give two out each, and you keep some back. For in case I needed any, so I had, I had my carpets fitted, for, for note. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fireplace, a new fireplace put in, in in house. Uh, I had a builder come and put me an extension on. He, he, he only paid, and paid him half money, <laughs> so he wanted tickets as well. So they, don't, they all wanted tickets for away games, you see, because they couldn't get them. You know, so so I've got these tickets, and and then I had Dorman at nightclub. I had them two on a string. To basically. <laughs> So at the nightclub would be queuing miles long and I'd be there. It's me. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> they want a ticket for the excited, don't they? Sorry, so lads have all gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it did have its benefits, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. 